Hey guys, in this quick little video, I just wanna show you how to use ice resin to seal something. So what am I talking about? Well, okay, I've got, and you, there's already a video up about this. I'm finishing up this little box here, this little pencil box, and I did some acrylic paint pouring. Again, there's already a video about this there on my YouTube channel. But I did the paint pouring, but then I wanted it to not just be shiny, but you know, I didn't want the paint texture I didn't want the paint to be able to like scrape off or anything. So I poured a clear coat of resin, which you can see how high gloss it is. You're seeing my window and stuff reflected. And then let it cure for 24 hours. Now it's rock hard and shiny and everything is totally protected in here. So this is a really fun thing to do for something. And like I said before, this is not finished. This will all get painted, but you get the point on something that you might want to do for for a box, for, I mean, anything you want. The only real rule here with the resin, there's a couple rules. Rule number one, you cannot mess with it. You need to leave it alone and let it be until it's all the way dry, guys. Let it be. Rule number two, you need to have a surface or area where it can't escape, okay? It's gonna run and run and run at the beginning it, it that's what it wants to do it doesn't want to sit still and play nice it wants to run and get to all the edges so keeping that in mind you need to make sure and by the way guys you do have to use equal parts of the resin both of these have the exact same amount in the bottles and i'm finishing out the bottles that's why i'm not measuring i'm just pouring into a disposable cup you always want to work with a disposable cup anyway because once you have resined something in a cup the cup is done. The cup is dead. Okay, so I'm just sitting here now letting these bottles finish up. Okay, so that's about good. The next step is I will get, again, we want disposable. I will get a popsicle stick here. And the reason disposable is not that I don't like to reuse stuff. It's that resin pretty much... Well, you'll yeah, do it once and you'll see. Whatever you put the resin into, the resin is now in slash on. And you can't really, I mean, I suppose you could keep the cup and then use it for paint or water or something else, but you're not gonna ever put resin in it again. You're not ever gonna use it for the same thing. So you wanna stir this and you're gonna stir it a lot. A minute or two, you really have to get it completely mixed. It has to be equal parts for the ice resin and you want it really well stirred. What I like to do is stir it really well and it is going to fill up with bubbles. Don't freak out. The bubbles pretty much go away on their own. What you wanna do is stir and stir and stir and stir. And then I like to let it sit for maybe five minutes and most of those bubbles go away. Then I will give it one more stir and we'll be ready to pour. This is an art piece that my daughter was working on. Here you can see it's gotten pretty clear. And I'm just giving it one more stir just to make sure everything is really well mixed. Okay, and once I am satisfied with that, and again, we don't have to worry about the bubbles. The bubbles are gonna take care of themselves. I'm just gonna pour it out. And yes, I can use my stick here to get as much of that resin out as I can. So you do want to, I left it here for about 10 minutes. You wanna be careful or set yourself a timer that you don't leave it too long. And I warn you of that because one time I left it for about an hour and a half, came back, totally forgot about it, came back, and what I found was it was almost, it felt like saltwater taffy. So it had started to cool and it had start, or not cool, it had started to set and harden and it was not workable. So you wanna be careful with that. And you see how I'm just letting it pour over the surface. I'm not gonna be doing the sides, it's just the bottom that I want coated. So I'm just making sure to tilt it and just let the resin, I don't wanna to touch it. I wanna to avoid touching it actually. I really wanna just let it do its thing on its own. There are some bubbles. I have found that if the bubbles are tricky, you can take a clean pin and poke them to get them to go away. You can also use a heat tool. However, here's my word of warning to you. Let it be for a little bit, for about an hour, I would just let 
this B. I would not, and yes, it's so shiny now. You can see me in the reflection. I would not do anything here to this yet. I would let it set for about half hour, hour, see what it does on its own because most of those little bubbles are going to clear all on their own but you can you know the heat tool sometimes it just warms it up and like makes the bubbles go away or a little pin and you're good all you got to do is do not touch it leave it completely alone for 24 hours and then you end up with this glossy shiny lovely finish hope that's been a helpful tutorial for you i know sometimes you paint something or you've got a surface and you want it coated and resin definitely works for that that's just another use for it, it doesn't have to always be jewelry making or projects like that it can just be a sealant like this i will see you next time i know my daughter's gonna have to count these hours until she gets her space cat pencil box back and i'm sure she'll be using it soon